This book is so bored. Mm, the museum is so interested. Wow, this video is so excited. Wait a minute. What's wrong with these expressions? Hi, everybody. I am Aliona at Cake English, and I'm here to answer your questions. Today's question is, how do we use ED and ING ending words? Well, we use ED to describe a feeling felt by a person or an animal. On the other hand, we use ING to describe what creates the feeling. Let's talk about ED first. We can say things like, I'm interested, I'm excited, I'm tired, and so many other ED ending words. If we're talking about how we feel. We can also use these words to describe how somebody else feels. For example, we can say, she is bored because we're talking about somebody's feelings. But we cannot say the book is bored because the book is not alive and it has no feelings. Instead, we would say the book is boring because the book is the cause of a feeling. We use ing to talk about something or someone that causes a feeling. Let's avoid confusion and learn to use ed and ing correctly and confidently. Repeat after me for some speaking practice. The book was so boring. The book was so boring. This painting is interesting. This painting is interesting. It was a tiring day. It was a tiring day. I'm excited to watch the movie. I'm excited to watch the movie. She is interested in that job. She is interested in that job. He is too tired after work. He is too tired after work. So, do you understand the difference between ED and ING? Let's check this out in a quiz. I'm getting my new phone tomorrow. I am so... That's right, I'm so excited. The art gallery was full of... Paintings. That's right. The art gallery was full of interesting paintings. I didn't sleep at all last night. I am so... That's right. I'm so tired. Good job, everyone. So that's it for today. Remember to download the Cake app for free so you can find more videos just like this one. See you next time. Bye.